Hey yo, what's good everybody? I'm TK Lay Day Day, aka 10 Stacks. Welcome to the mix up. Yo, happy new year to everybody. I hope you're nice. I hope you're good. I have been away for a minute, you know, in terms of like dropping content, is because I was also busy with a couple of projects last year, but I have content for days now. You feel me? So I'm gonna be out here a little bit more. And um, today, I just wanna show you how to get like exciting drums, uh, bigger, fatter drums with uh, distortion slash saturation so let's go okay these are the drums we're gonna be working with uh today very simple and um what i usually do is i take my percussions and then i put them in this ox and then the ox i send it into my drum drum ox also i do that with my kicks my claps my snares so that i can have control over everything once I'm, I'm sure that everything is balanced together right so we're not gonna talk about the processing on my drum ox today but we're gonna talk about adding distortion on the drums to excite everything up what i usually do is i use decapitator so these are the settings right so the drive is to actually push in more distortion into the uh, the plugin also going into the uh, the sound whatever i'm trying to distort i like low cutting my low end you know with the distortion the more you distort a sound the more it takes away the low end so what i usually do is i just cut so decapitator has like five modules um just go through them and see which one you like the most you know because they all have different sounds so this is what i use and then after i use an eq so i'm boosting 5 dbs run about 100 and i'm boosting 5 dbs at like 10k you feel me for the highs and lows that's what i usually do it depends on the song though So what we want to do is add in the distortion until we feel like, you know what, this is hella right, this is correct, this sounds better. Oh, did you hear the noise? See now, that's crazy. That can be an effect for like some designing or whatever, right? But we just want a little bit of distortion within the drums. You can even hear the percussions are excited now even the um, the kick has a little bit of distortion that means i'm doing it i'm doing too much you feel me so just set this thing to taste a little bit of distortion is actually dope you feel me because when everything plays within the um, the song sometimes you hear it sometimes you don't sometimes you want to hear it sometimes you don't want to hear it it just depends on what song you're working on or you spoke to the artist or the artist told you you know what i need a little bit distortion i need my my song to be a little bit dirty that's what you do but i feel like this is too much especially for the kick Also, if you feel like the low ends are just crapping out, you can just take this down. Like, sometimes you don't need this. So my thing is, if you feel like you are boosting too much on the kick, you can just do this. And you can also just put in another EQ if you don't want to affect the kick. You feel that it has a little bit of excitement. This actually helps when you have like too many things in your song, like, you know, I'm talking about instruments. So let's play it with the 808. This is without. This is with. Without. 